views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is your moment. Gather together each week to follow leadership by example, love, and inspiration. Welcome to Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness with one of the most prominent naturopathic doctors in this country, as well as a leading detoxification and environmental illness specialist. Now, here's your host, Dr. Ronnie. Hello, hello, and welcome to Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness. And there are truly a lot of miracles. And I'm here today with Teresa Huber, who is my friend, and she has been dealing with some of the most chronic disabilities, chronic illnesses for the last 30 years. Teresa is an occupational therapist. She's also not only an occupational therapist, but she's one of the greatest massage therapists. She's also practices trigger. She also now, she's a neuromuscular therapist and she practices medical aromatherapy extensively from from the last past 20 years. But I want to get to the work that she's doing now for the last eight years. Um, We spoke with uh, Teresa last week. Uh, We talked about her many, many accomplishments and I'm so proud to have her here today because we have something very exciting that we want to talk to you about. She has been practicing Psych-K for the last eight years. Now, Psych-K is all about changing your subconscious. Mm. If you change your beliefs, you change your life, Teresa says. She's been trying to work with me for the last several years about this. Teresa also says that when you are operating on beliefs, from when you were five years old, and I hate, I hate to say this, but that sounds pretty scary to me if I'm still operating on my beliefs from when I was five years old. You know, you want to know why you attract abusive relationships? You want to know why you consciously wake up every single day and you think you're dying? You want to know why you don't want to talk to your mother or your father and why you don't, you dislike your sister? You want to know why you hate your job? Well, it's a subconscious belief, and Teresa's here to tell us that. Teresa, welcome. I'm so excited about this show because, you know, you and I have talked about, you know, and I, you know, I'm not shy talking about myself, and um, I, I run a holistic retreat on Martha's Vineyard where some of the most chronic conditions, um, you know, whole body diseases we see here, not only from a physical standpoint, but from an emotional and a spiritual standpoint, and we always say that we have seen many people who we call them the broken shell, which basically means we got to put them back together in every faucet of their life. Um, and Psych K is one of those uh, modalities, one of those uh, uh, treatments um, from a neuroscience point of view that I would like to learn more about. And um, and thank you for being my friend for so many years, and thank you for caring, and thank you for talking to me about Psych K. I'm at the point in my life now where I am totally going to put that into my practice, and I'm going to get certified. So I'm welcome to this this show, and please explain to our listeners how important Psych K is, and what it is, and how was it developed. I'm interested. Well, um, in 1986, I went to a workshop uh, in Golden, Colorado. I was at a, a critical point in my life, and I had just moved to El Paso, Texas, and had taken over the job as the Director of Occupational Therapy for a physician, and was introduced to a technique uh, and a concept that... Uh, looked at the a person's skills, traits, attributes through the eyes called rated. And Rob Williams was at that workshop. At that time, he was a practicing um, counselor in, um, I think, Middleton or Inglewood, Colorado. 
Um, and it, it, as you know about traditional counseling, uh, there are however many approaches. People are familiar with the Freudian approach and the Rogerian approach and uh, the uh, behavioral approach and uh, this approach and uh, that approach. Well, you know, people get degrees in psychology and psychologists have specializations just like nurses and occupational therapists and physical therapists and doctors and so forth. Well, most of that is you have to go in and talk to the counselor. And a lot of it is remembering all of that trauma. And a lot of it is reliving it and hashing it over. Well, how many years of Freudian, you know, free association do you do before how can, when you can be done with it? To be a Freudian psychiatrist or psychologist takes 10 or 12 years of regurgitating all of your painful past. Oh, my gosh. Rob felt there is a easier, better way. <clears throat> so he studied applied kinesiology. He studied brain gym. He studied all different kinds of ways. And, and this man is really a spiritual man that is connected to God and spirit. And one day, you know, how, how do all these inspirations come? Albert Einstein, you know, the, uh, Tesla, you know, all these people who come up uh, with these wonderful inventions, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, so on and so forth. Most of them will tell you it just came to them. Well, Sykes K just came to Rob. So in the in the Bible it says, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Well, hey, Rob asked and he got an answer. And that answer is Psyche. He calls it Psyche stands for psychological kinesiology. So instead of regurgitating all your painful traumatic past, you simply do what he calls a balance for a belief. Now, it's like peeling an onion, just because I do one balance, let's say, uh, I love myself. Believe it or not, most people who do a balance for I love myself, they their subconscious says, oh, no, you don't. How many of you will look in the mirror truthfully and say, I love you, to that beautiful face? Do you? Anybody here the morning and look in there? Only narcissists do that. <laughs> Believe it or not. So basically, Rob came up with 13 core beliefs that he was given, and that's how Psyche was born. And so these core beliefs, he found that if you balance, remember, it's really all about balance. Um, if I put in, for example, if I say I love myself and I balance where I don't love myself, I hate myself, in fact, um, he figured out a simple several simple kinds of techniques that help to rewire the subconscious. So, and they're simple. Simple, simple, simple. Take only a few minutes. You can change your life by simply loving yourself. And it's like everybody has a computer these days, and if, if you want your, your computer to do something brand new, you go get that computer program, let's say publisher or something like that, and you want to make brochures, and you want to do something of that nature, well, there's a program for that. Well, your your brain is a master computer. And I'm going to tell you that all of the, the neurologists and, and the scientists of the world will say, we don't even access 10% of, our, of the possibilities uh, of uh, the capacity for our brain. So everybody's operating on less than 10%. Most adults have an attention span of less than 10 minutes. So I've already talked for that probably. <laughs> So uh, our subconscious beliefs were wired between the ages of zero and five years old. So you know, what is, that, that is so profound. When you say that, and you said that so many times, and I, when I go back, and you know, I'm sure our listeners are listening to that, and when they hear that, and they go back, I think even at five years old, they used to say that we learn most things as a young child that will stay in our our uh, lives for many, many, many years. So if you were abused um, uh, as a young child, uh, that's why you're still having issues as an adult. If someone told you at five years old that you were ugly and you'll never amount to anything, you still believe that as an adult. 
um, if right. someone treated you badly to make you have poor self-esteem all these years when you were a child, you still have that as an adult. And, you know, and so as an adult now you have to, you know, your brain have to be rewired and you, when you can say I love you when you look at yourself in the mirror, but truly do you love? You still, you're saying we still have to change our, our subconscious. We have to go through a, a series of exercises to change that part about us. Can you, can you give me an example when we get back um, from break on how, what type of exercises do we go through? And, and and do we have to do that forever? Because, you know, listening to Oprah Winfrey shows and, you know, sh many shows over the years, uh, we know that sometimes people are in therapy forever. I mean, they are in therapy for 10 years sometimes. And, and I have to, you know, tell you, you know, I'm at that age now in my career where I've seen it all. And um, some of the very people that have been in therapy 20 years ago, I don't even really think they're any better today. So now Psyche, is, it, it's, it's a hopeful type of therapy that if you change your beliefs, you can change your life, whether it's yeah. unhealthy, un, whether you, you want to change your health or whether you want to change your relationships. You have to be attracted to the thing that you think and you, and you talk about. So I'm excited about you giving us some examples on how to do that. Let me ask you a question before we go to break. Do we, um, do we have to uh, become certified to do that, or can it be self-taught? No. Uh, let, let, you asked two questions. I'm going to say, let me answer the first question. There is no certification at this time. When you take the basic psyche course, you learn how to do basic what Rob calls balances. You are a psyche facilitator. So you, you happen to know how, for example, to facilitate an exercise class, okay? The person there is doing the exercise. A psyche person is not really a counselor. You don't need a degree. Anybody can learn it. You can learn it just for yourself because you want to change your life. Um, you can, as there are many, many counselors and practitioners who are psyche facilitators. And, and, for example, Dr. Ronnie, you, you specialize in treating chronic illness. We have a very special class for psyche facilitators that deals only with illness and the lessons from illness. Okay. So when we come back, this is a, so exciting. When we come back, more on how to change your subconscious thoughts so that you can have a healthier and happier lifestyle. To Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. 
Tune in to Prescience Life Radio with host Mia Simone. Mia is devoted to sharing her extensive knowledge on the invisible worlds of energy. Join Mia and discover the science of intuition and connect with your greatest gift. Start living in your potential today and every day by opening up to the power of inner knowledge. To learn more about Mia, visit presciencelife.com. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start willing the game of life with the unique and incomparable Lynn Brown. As an intuitive healer and experienced business manager, Lynn can help you live your life to its full potential. To learn more about Lynn, visit ruintuit.com. That's the letter R, letter U, intuit.com. Hello, we are back and you are listening to Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness. This is Dr. Ronnie, your host, and we are talking to Teresa Huber today. And Teresa is a Psych K practitioner, and she says we are still operating on beliefs from when we were five years old. And if you are attracting abusive relationships, and if you are always constantly feeling sick and thinking you're sick, and if you think that there's doomsday, and if you have issues with your job and you don't understand why, these are just some of the things that you can change in your life. And Teresa and I have been talking over the years because I run a retreat with chronic illness. I treat whole body diseases, and it's all about body, mind, and spirit. And boy, do we have a lot of positive changes at our retreat dealing with some of the issues that we deal with. Um, I'm excited to be here talking to Teresa Huber because she's going in depth. Teresa, can you... um, You know, I know that I'm always asking you about chronic disease and how you can help them on an emotional and spiritual level. What are some of the ways that you can help someone with a chronic illness with Psyche? Well, every problem in our life, including illness, always has some kind of something to teach us, if we look at it that way, you know. So is your cup half full or is it half empty? How many people do you know, uh, Dr. Ronnie, that have been given a diagnosis of a terminal cancer and one patient will say, well, that's not going to get me, and another one will be given maybe a cyst of mild cancer and they die? A lot of that is a subconscious programming. And it's, it's either you decide that you want to thrive in, in this life and you have a contribution. We all we wouldn't be here if we didn't have a contribution, uh, or we we don't. We give up. Yeah, you know, and uh, I, you know, I have, you know, I've I've got several uh, cancer clients here, um, and you know, I get them not at stage one, but at stage four. Um, as a natural path, we like to see them um, before they get cancer. Um, so we have two types of natural paths. We have the type that get to do a lot of preventative work, and then we get the ones that, you know, get the person that says, I've done everything else, so now let me go see a natural path. So I've been doing a lot of cancer work, and um, and um, even before I can get to the core of, of helping them with their immune system and some of the symptomatology that they're presenting with, um, I have to deal with uh, the everyday um, emotional feelings about their chronic illness and there's two types of people the person that gets well in my program is the person that's been everywhere and done everything and now they have a, a stronger emotional spiritual component to their um, whole health process or their whole protocol for getting well um, and I find that the other one comes in to the retreat already knowing and thinking that they're going to die in three months because that's what they were told. And that's truly what they believe at the subconscious level, that they are going to die. 
Um, I, I'll never forget the one client that I had named Tommy. And we say it all the time. We talk about Tommy. We've been talking about Tommy for, for years. And I remember the doctor asking me, one of his medical doctors asking me, what is it about Tommy that's keeping him alive? He had zero T cells. I mean, his white blood count like was so low that he didn't understand why he was still alive. And the one thing that I can say about Tommy, and I talk about Tommy a lot, is that Tommy never believed that he was going to die. He didn't buy into any of that. He said, I look good, I feel good, I am good, and I need to do what I need to do on a daily basis. And he says, so I'm going to get up out of this bed and I'm going to go to work because people are counting on me. And he didn't dwell on his illness, and he didn't buy into that whole concept. He just did what he had to do. He took all of his nutrients, and he did everything that he could possibly do in terms of, of, of natural medicine and holistic health. But Tommy lived for years and years and years after his diagnosis and after they gave him his death sentence. And I'm totally in, on board with Psyche because I know for a fact that Tommy was practicing Psyche. Mm -hmm. On some level, we're all connected to spirit, and um, if you if you're connected with spirit, you know that's how people walk down the aisle at a church, and and they have a healing, and they're healed instantaneously from whatever. All of that can happen. It doesn't happen to everybody. So I would consider six five K basically like reprogramming the subconscious like you reprogram the computer. And, you know, a cancer patient might need to believe I deserve to live. You know, I have a contribution. I am worthy. I deserve to be happy. You know, a lot of us are here and we're existing, and we don't even believe we deserve to be here. So if you don't believe you deserve to be here, it's like, you know, there's a saying, you don't ever say a double negative. Uh, and you don't ever say, I don't have, because what you say you don't, you don't, you can't, you can't. So, you know, uh, in some other circles, you always say, cancel, cancel, cancel. So your, yeah. your client, Tommy, never allowed a negative thought, and he survived because of that. Yeah, and I and I don't think the traditional world was ready to hear that. And they kept asking me what what is it? And I keep I kept telling him there's nothing special that I'm doing for Tommy that I don't do for everyone. I mean, Tommy was a loving soul that deserved he believed to live because he had a lot to do still yet in this world. And he truly believed and loved in himself and he and he said that. He said I I can't buy into that. He says I'm I'm not dying because how could I look and feel so good? And that's exactly how he felt. And that's how he presented himself every day. He would actually tell me to take care of my, you need to take care of yourself. And I'm like looking at him like he just told me to take care of myself. And yeah. that's, that's who he was as a person. And so, you know, I, I believe this, your subconscious belief can kill you. I've seen it happen over the years. I've been doing this work for 30 years. For 30 years, so I have seen so much. I have seen when someone said that I need to get my life in order because I've got a month to live. I've seen them die on the 30th day because that's what they told themselves. They said they were going to die in the month and they had a month to get everything in order. The first thing I have to say is that they believed that because they was always on board. You know, one of the things that I... I have someone told me, and I always kept this in my thought, you know, because I do a lot of cancer work. They said um, that sometimes cancer is an acceptable form of suicide. And I see that in some people. that they're, they're just totally on board with dying. And yeah. no matter how much life you put into them, they still believe that that's what they, that they deserve that. And so I've seen miraculous changes with people when someone said no. That's not acceptable. I have a lot of work to do. You're going to get me healthy, and I'm going to do it. And still, they're they're doing fine today. Today, so I know yeah. that subconscious beliefs have a lot to do with how we ultimately end up in our life, and it has a lot to do with the way we live our life today. Um, you know, I sometimes have to even call my mother and ask my mother, you know, do I have a sign on me? And she says, What do you mean by that? I says, I must have a sign on me saying that. Everyone that sees me, just come to me and just 
rip me apart and take advantage of me. And she says, no, she, as, as old as she is, she even has this belief that you attract that. You need to help yourself so that you can stop attracting that type of person. So I, I'm going to do work with you, Teresa, because I know that I attract a certain type of person into my life. I always believe that I can help. I remember someone said to me, um, he said to me, I'm a bad seed and you shouldn't be around me. And I said to him, no one is a bad seed. You're not a bad seed. I can help you. <laughs> well, you know, so the See, bad that's seed. That's the belief that you hold, you know, and I'm, I'm sure that's the belief that your mother holds too because I've met your mother and I don't think she sees anything bad in anybody. No. Ever. She doesn't. Ever. <laughs> no. I know. And I, I, I somebody I, I, Doing something for her. Oh, no, no, I, I got that from her. I'm sure I got that from her. So she so, totally understands me. Uh, but, you know, it's painful sometimes for her to see me go through what I go through uh, because I attract some, you know, people like that into my life. And even the ones that don't want to help themselves or they're, they're truly on that road to suicide, I will still have sleepless nights trying to help them. Yeah, so yeah, and that's or, or. that's painful. So you know, there's some things that we recognize about ourselves that we do have to change, and um, we, you know, when we um, we're going to go to break in a minute because this is such an exciting subject. Um, when we come back, I mean, there's one of the things that I want you to go through uh, with our listeners. I want you to go through an example of what it's like to go through a session, a psych case session, because I'm sure there's people that are listening to us is, is probably thinking, well, what do you do? I mean, do you sit on a table and do they put something around your head and attach it to a machine? I mean, what is psych case? So I would like for you to explain the process of what happens as you go through a psych case session, because I'm excited about it, and actually I'm going to go with you to the next um, meeting or the next uh, certification so that I can learn more about it, because you know, being a naturopath, I have a little bit of knowledge about a lot of things. Um, and so I have a lot of knowledge about a lot of things, but I dwell into a lot of different areas in the alt alternative field. Um, and Psyche is one of my latest interests that I would like to go through. So when we come back, um, more with Teresa Huber, an amazing Psyche practitioner. Uh, Teresa, before we go to break, can you please leave your contact information it can reach me through my website www.candoitweasy.com c-a-n-d-o-i-t the letter e is in edward z is in zebra can do it easy.com thank you so much more when we come back on how you can have a healthier and happier lifestyle with psyche Teresa huber to transform your life's trauma and challenges into the gift that your life was meant to be. It's time for you to take control of your soul journey to heal, grow, and shine. Manifest your destiny with Wendy Wolf, soul transformer, energy, and psychic healer. To start your soul journey, contact Wendy at healgrowshine.com or email Wendy at wendy at wendyrwolf.com and start your adventure today. Do you know how to achieve wellness in all areas of your life? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Signs of wellness are a capacity to love and ability to nurture, a sense of purpose, a good sense of humor and plenty of fun in your life, a concern for others and a respect for the environment, a conscious commitment to personal excellence, a sense of balance and integrated lifestyle, and capacity to cope with whatever life presents. Well, people enjoy their lives and want them to last as long as possible. That's why the wellness mindset usually accompanies other
other constructive, healthy lifestyle habits. By adopting a wellness mindset and behaviors like eating well, taking the right nutrition for the body, exercising, and saying affirmations are just a few things to structure a healthy system of values and beliefs. I will be your wellness coach to help you achieve a wellness lifestyle. Call us at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. And visit us at maryjanemack.com. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing or a healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. Hello, this is Dr. Ronnie, your host, and you are listening to Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness, and there are truly a lot of miracles. Today, we are continuing our conversation with Teresa Huber, and our subject is Psyche, and we are excited about that um, because we believe that if you are still operating on subconscious beliefs from when you were five years old, then no wonder you're not feeling at your best. No wonder you're having unhealthy relationships. No wonder you're having health issues. So it's time to have a happier and healthier life and understanding what Psyche is and how you can change your life as well. And Teresa, thank you so much. If I didn't get the chance to thank you for doing this subject matter with me and you have had a keen um, interest in me learning about Psyche and I am truly going to try my best to go to the next session with you because I have been doing a lot of extensive work with cancer, and I believe that that is my next calling to implement Psyche into my practice. So thank you. Um, I wanted to know if you can give our listeners some value by uh, giving a little bit of description on how it works. What what would they be doing um, as they're going through a Psyche session? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, first of all, I want to tell our listeners that uh, they can order a book online by Rob Williams called The Missing Piece, P-E-A-C-E, in your life. And this little book uh, kind of goes through what is psyche, how it works, and, and answers a lot of those questions. But for us here today, I'll just kind of give you a little spin up of what a a client might be going through as they come to a psyche facilitator to reprogram a subconscious belief. The psyche facilitator is going to establish communication with the subconscious mind of the person wanting to change their belief system very simply through something we call muscle testing. So I'm sure many uh, naturopathic doctors out there might do a muscle test to see whether or not a uh, particular nutrient is good for the body or not. When you ask the body a question, the body will always answer, yes, this is good for me, no, this isn't good for me. It will always answer yes, no questions. Chiropractors use this technique um, and many other healthcare practitioners out there who practice holistic medicine. So uh, we're going to establish uh, communication with the subconscious, and that entails asking the subconscious three questions. And after we ask those three questions and communication is established, uh, then we ask permission of the subconscious. So let's say, Dr. Ronnie, you would, you would like to um, forgive uh, everybody in your life that ever hurt you. And, uh, and then uh, you ask your subconscious, well, uh, is it safe and appropriate to uh, forgive everybody in my whole life that ever hurt me? And if, if it isn't, the subconscious will, because we've established communication with that person, subconscious will either say yes or no. So when we, when we establish communication and get our permission, then we proceed. Okay? So then, then let's say, oh, yeah, we have permission. I, I don't want to carry this baggage. And I, I don't want to feel guilty and shameful about everything that ever went went wrong and everybody that hurt me, oh my God, I mean, that's like Pilgrim's Progress all my life I'm carrying all this burden. I want to get rid of it. So we balance for I forgive myself and others for all the wrongs that have ever been done to me. 
and 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 then then after you've gotten that, there are a couple of little what what uh, Rob calls integration techniques, and he'll say it is safe and appropriate to balance for this using this, and he'll call it either something like a whole whole brain posture, or whole brain something mm-hmm. or another, or you know resolution or you know, all different kinds of ways, bleak points, et cetera. He's got half a dozen or more different ways, and there might be something new that pops up at that moment that is most appropriate. So uh, sometimes it's doing a visualization and talking about asking specific questions about, gee, how would it feel if I forgave that person? What would it look like? What would people say? So he might do, do something like that. But we always ask the subconscious, what is the best way? Believe it or not, the subconscious knows what the best way is. Wow. So it isn't necessarily just one one thing, but I'll tell you, when you're finished with the belief change process and you say this process is complete and you test for it, it is complete. That process has changed. If you've installed the program into your computer, it's complete. Is it not? When you change the belief in your brain, it is complete. You have forgiven. And then and then the changes in your life after forgiving might might be really subtle. You know, people might say, Gee, Dr. Ronnie, you look so happy. Gee, Dr. Ronnie, what is it about you? What's different about you? What's something's changed and they don't they can't quite get it. You know, so it isn't gonna be necessarily earth shattering. <laughs> but I will tell you, when, you know, if anybody listens to uh, um, Esther Hicks, who who uh, channels uh, a spiritual being called Abraham, um, it's the law of attraction. If I have forgiven all the wrongs that are done to me, how will that change my life? Just look for the changes, because when the belief is changed, it is universal law that you attract. What, you, what know, you believe. I, I, I've always, and I do recognize uh, subconscious beliefs um, have an incredible influence um, over my life and, and most of my, um, if not all of my clients' lives. I've seen it happen. I've seen transformation happen within the body, um, especially when you have a, a, a serious whole body disease. I've actually watched people make a transformation um, by g- going into some emotional deep work, whether it's psyche or whether it's, you know, other types of uh, emotional uh, uh, therapies. But I have seen it. And uh, but what I truly have to say about you is that your passion uh, and the way you empower your clients um, and the desire to help them to overcome their disabilities um, has a, a huge positive effect on one of why they get well fast and why they um, they're able to do some of the most amazing things, whether they weren't able to walk and then they can get up and walk again. I'm sure you've seen that. And I'm sure you must know because of your psyche abilities and, and and your personality that you're able to get these people to move and you're able to make the transformation happen a lot faster um, with this type of work. I want I, I would never uh, want uh, to go down the road of, of having a chronic illness and always the doctor or practitioner saying um, you're never going to get well. Um, you have a serious whole body disease and to believe that because it's always what you think is how your day is going to be. If you think bad thoughts, if you think dark things, if you think negative, you think that you're going to be in pain and you're going to die, then that's exactly what's going to happen. And so you can turn that around. And I've had people here that, you know, wake up wanting to face today because it's such a good day, a great day even the fact they had the most horrible diagnosis and prognosis, but they can still wake up and smile and be happy. Why? Because they had a transformation at that conscious level, at that subconscious level. And they have beliefs now that have been changed, and they can express that with love. And I think that there's nothing more important 
than to be able to have a emotional awakening. When we come back, I want you to give our listeners some more value on how to help themselves. One of the questions that someone just texted me is for a session, how much is a psych K session and how long is it? Um, is it a half hour? Is it an hour? And, and, and how many sessions do you recommend? Um, this young lady, she's in her 40s. Uh, she was talking to me on, on my um, text just now um, that her mom has cancer and she's been the care provider for the last 20 years. And, um, and now she's basically um, um, trans, she's transforming over. I think that's a lot of years, first of all. I think she's done quite well. Um, can you help someone in how much and um, approximately in how many sessions do you recommend? Teresa? Oh, yes. I thought we were going to break. Sorry. Oh, no. Uh, if there would be time to we answer the question. Um, so, can we answer that when we come back? Um, and I can go, uh, I can share some uh, information on how to reach out to a psyche facilitator or how to reach absolutely. out to me. Absolutely. I can definitely put that question on hold and we could talk about how to get help through a psyche session and how much approximately is a psyche session and how many sessions do you need before you see a change i would like to tell you that i have been i've had a session and um believe me just one session has helped me and uh, my goal is to go through more sessions um with psyche uh, practitioner because it truly does help you at the subconscious level and then help you change the way you live in your life today so more on psyche when we get back with Teresa huber it's all about changing your subconscious thought if you change your beliefs you change your life whether it's an unhealthy relationship or a health issue Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you're ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Enlightening, humorous, and compassionate. Listen live to The Kelly Ballard Show, insight and inspiration from the great beyond. Kelly is a fourth-generation medium and intuitive who covers topics ranging from grief, spirit guides, and listening to your intuition. Kelly can help you get answers and guidance from the other side with a little bit of humor and a lot of healing. Tune in to The Kelly Ballard Show, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 
naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. Teresa Huber, um, a side case specialist, and she's got more value for you. You are listening to Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness, and there are truly a lot of miracles. And one of the miracles here today at the retreat is someone so very special that we are talking to them as we speak on this radio show, listening to us, wanting to have a side case session. Uh, Teresa, would you mind explaining to our listeners what a session costs and how many sessions they may need and how they can get a hold of you? Okay, sure. I'm happy to. But really, the best way to reach out to me is through my website. And that's www.andoiteasy.com. So the easy is with a letter E and the letter Z, C A N D O I C, the letter E is in Edward, Z is in Zebra, can do it, E Z. So then I have a tab that says Psyche, so you can learn a little bit about Psyche right there. And it says Contact Us. Go to the Contact Us um, tab and just email me. Uh, since I am a healthcare practitioner, I do work in healthcare facilities, I'm not able to answer my phone, so you really cannot reach out to me by telephone. And when I'm not working, because I'm still a working girl, honey, <laughs> uh, <laughs> still doing what I do, and uh, I will reach out to you. And if I haven't reached out to you within 24 hours, just, just send me another uh, email. Generally, I check my email daily. That's great. Thank you. Um, you began your journey studying Psyche almost eight years ago, and you took that advanced course about a year ago. Um, so you've been studying and studying Psyche. And over the years, I'm sure you have seen some powerful transformations. Um, and, and, and would you mind sharing some of these stories with us? Because I'm excited because basically I know that, um, you know, dealing with whole body diseases, um, that there is an emotional component. You know, it has been said many times that Anger creates disease, uh, depression creates disease, um, anxiety creates disease. So that's an emotional component to uh, your disease process. And I know that um, whole body, mind, body medicine is a serious uh, uh, practice today, and it's growing by leaps and bounds. Um, we've, we are all connected, and we know that we just can't work at the physical level anymore, and that if you have a disconnect with what you believe and what someone else has told you, then it's the chances of you getting well is not as good as if you're in connection with your whole body, mind, and spirit. And that's why this work is so important and growing. Um, some of the stories that I can share with you is phenomenal, but I'd like for you to share a couple of stories about how you've helped people with Psyche. Well, um... <laughs> Let me think for a second. Um, I worked with a person who was also a, a psyche facilitator, and I'm not going to mention any names or anything for confidentiality reasons, but this person had some issues with, with her father. And um, believe it or not, her father... Um, has passed on. And a lot of times people have what we call unfinished business with family members, especially parents, that have passed on. And, you know, those issues of self-esteem and belief and who you are and whether or not you accomplished what you ought to or should have, should have, would have, could have, you know, comes from your parents. 
And, oh, my goodness, the forgiveness that this person felt and the transformation in getting in touch with all of those issues that occurred <clears throat> in childhood and how it has shaped her life was just extraordinarily insightful and transformational. And I'm going to say that many people, um, you know, like for, my, for myself, for example, I came I came to Psyche because of my own issues, because, you know, I just lost my business, and I uh, I felt shame and guilt and, and horrible. You know, my self-esteem was just shattered because I lost my business, you know, and so I thought out, like, hey, I actually picked up the phone and called Rob Williams and said, Rob, you know, how's it going? What you doing? And it's so funny, you know, uh, spirit will often put a thought or a name or a process or something into your mind and, and just just know that, you know, if you keep thinking about something or someone, pick up the phone and call them. Pick up the phone and find out about that. That's a message from somewhere, either from your subconscious or, or spirit or, you know, the divine to tell you that this is something you need to pay attention to. And yeah. so it, the transformation begins immediately. How long does it take to download a program and the program's in? The program's working. When you... When I walk away from a psyche retreat um, where I spent two or three days working on myself, this is my therapy, dear, dear folks. I do this mostly for me. I'm not doing it for you, but I'm also willing to share it. But I'm going to tell you, this is my personal transformational process so that I can serve and do the things that I do so well. So it's really um, psyche is a powerful tool it's a non-invasive tool it's it helps it has been proven to change the way we record things in our brain it's a simple um but powerful process to go through it works at the subconscious beliefs and um you can do it yourself um it helps you to stop self-sabotaging yourself um, I, one of the things that I, I keep thinking, and it's been around for forever, but I keep thinking it's a groundbreaking approach to the way we change at the subconscious level. And the reason why I say that is because so many people now are looking at uh, this tool to help change the, their behavior and to help change their lifestyle so that they can be happier. Um, and um, one of the things that I've always wanted to, you know, uh, give the value to our listeners and about why I bring guests on like you is so that we can show others how they can really help themselves to become a better person if they're happier and if they really stop working against themselves. More people today are their own worst enemy. And the reason for that is that they had those beliefs from the time that they were children. Like you said, some of these negative beliefs we attract at age five or younger. But now there is hope. Psyche is the way. Please reach out to Teresa Huber or another Psyche specialist because you can be a healthier and happier person. See you next time. Thank you for listening to Dr. Ronnie, Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness. Tune in every Friday, 3 p.m., for more exciting guests and surprising stories. Visit her website at drronnieholistichealth.com. Skype her at ronnie.deluce. Tweet at twitter.com, Dr. Ronnie. Or call and leave a text at 774-208-2477. 